Over the last two or three years, there's been an increased demand from consumers within the mousepad space for glass. And for most companies, whenever you look at glass pads, they have one singular goal in mind, providing the fastest mouse pad possible. Any company you look at a glass pad, their focus is providing the fastest experience possible. And that's true for most companies with the exception of TG exclusives. Now I do know that Padsmith and other companies have offered control pads as well, but TGX has specifically focused on control pads and control pads alone. So when you look at companies that offer a ceramic pad with the level of detail and precision that you see in the Serapad Ken, there's one company that does that and it's only TGX. So is this Serapad worth it? Let's get into it. So over the last few weeks, I've had the pleasure and opportunity to test the Serapad. And as a disclaimer, they did send it out to me, but always that doesn't change my thoughts or my review. So when we talk about the sizes that they offer on this pad, the Ken comes in several different sizes. They offer the Osmium Square, which is 505 by 505, the original, which is smaller at 355 by 305, the Plutonium at 405 uh, by 355, the Platinum, which is 405 by 405, the Iridium, which is 505 by 405, and the Osmium, which is 605 by 405. Personally, I went with the Iridium, uh, at least on my desk. It's probably the best that I could use. I could probably use the, the Osmium or the Osmium Square, um, but just because of the size, I figured it would be best just to go with the Iridium. Um, they did customize it for me, so I went with red and got my logo on it, and I gotta say, it looks great. When we talk about the customization and the colors that they provide, um, at least in colors, they have blue, gray, white, red, pink, green, and orange. They have several different colors that you could choose from, and again, at least from a customization standpoint, you can either add your gamer tag, your logo, on the bottom left hand corner of the pad. And I've seen some pretty good looking pads. Uh, I think the most recent one I saw was the one that Ilmeister got done and his gamer tag on that just looks incredible. When we talk about the edges, the edges of the pad are smooth and rounded and I haven't had any issues with it being uncomfortable even whenever I have my arm back here whenever I'm playing. And when we talk about the overall surface of the pad, similar to a typical glass pad, the surface is incredibly smooth. The pad doesn't have any surface friction, like a cloth pad, obviously, but the ceramic does have more surface friction that allows the pad to provide the slower controlled feel you get compared to other glass pads on the market, uh, like a sky pad, a pad smith, the wall hack now. Um, I don't know why they did that, but the wall hack now. Ultimately within the surface, there's no difference in the X or Y axis in overall gameplay and performance. And again, overall, the surface is very smooth and comfortable during gameplay. Performance wise, I perform really, really well on this pad. Playing games like Fortnite, Apex, and Call of Duty have honestly been a blast. Being able to have a pad with a smooth glide, full openness, and a feeling of control all at the same time. I've used uh, a few glass pads in the past. I mean, the one that I use pretty often is just the SkyPad 3.0. Um, the SkyPad 3.0 is obviously a much faster glass pad. It doesn't have the same amount of control. Yes, it's still open, but you have to, you're really more in control whenever you're using a sky pad and a, a pad similar to that, where whenever you're doing any kind of glide or target switching, ultimately your performance is on you. It's ultimately gonna be how you control the mouse along the surface of the pad. Whereas this does give you more control from the pad itself. So there's less of that that you have to do on this pad compared to something like, uh, again, a wall hack, a Pat Smith, something like that. Obviously, whenever I talk about Pat Smith, I'm not talking about the control version, I'm talking about the speed version. So I just wanted to make that clear. At least whenever we're using the Sarah Padkin, the one thing that I did want to talk about is skates. So I tested several different mice as I always do. 
I tested the uh, tested pulsar mice, lamb zoo mice, uh, the WL mouse with tiger ice skates. I tried core pads on the LA1. I tried the stock skates on the Razer V3 Pro. Um, there's definitely several different skates um, that I've tried on these mice as well as others. And <clears throat> Um, also I did, I do have ghost glides on the GPX. So I use that as well. So I've tried several different skates on this pad. Personally for me, I think the best performing, at least for the skates that I have is, is core pads. Um, I think core pads are quieter. Um, they have very solid performance on the pad and they just feel, feel very comfortable. They're not as loud and they perform very well on the kin. So back to the ultimate question, is this air pad worth it? I would 100% say yes. If you use glass pads and your focus is glass pads, I would highly recommend trying this air pad kin out. I think most glass pads are gonna be pretty similar. I mean, again, there's not a huge difference when you're using something like cloth trying different fabrics and seeing the difference in how fast, or whenever you're looking at a, at a pad and saying, hey, this is a control pad, this is a balance pad or a hybrid, this is a speed pad, you get more flexibility within cloth. And I don't think you get a whole lot of flexibility in glass as you do with cloth pads. With that being said, at least whenever you're using Again, at least for me, whenever you're using glass pads, most of the time it's going to be pretty similar. You might have a few small differences, but they're going to be more closer together um, than something like a cloth pad, at least from my perspective. So <clears throat> when you're using something like uh, a speed pad from Padsmith and a wall hack pad, and you got the Akari, they're all going to be kind of in the same area. Whereas this again is going to be different. It's going to be more controlled. It's, it's intentionally going to be slower. It's still similar to glass where it's going to provide more openness. It's going to have, <clears throat> it's going to have that openness. It's going to have that smooth glide, but it's also going to be a lot slower from what you're used to. So, at least if you're looking for something, even for those that, hey, you know, I've been using glass for a long time, but I want to use something that would be cloth. Maybe you might want to look at a Serapad Kin is like the, the middle ground of, hey, before I move all the way back to cloth, maybe you should try the Kin out. I think that's a good spot um, for those that are looking to try out glass, but don't want to go full speed. Or if you're already in glass, wanting to go backwards, Again, I mean, check out this AirPad kin. I've been using this pad for a while, and like I said, I perform great. It feels great, um, and I've really been enjoying this pad. So it's definitely going to be something I hold on to for a long time. And yeah, I mean, if you have any other questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section down below. And with that, I will catch you all next time. Peace.